It is a beautiful day in the universe with Mr. Caruso and Walter. We have our future Miss Universe and the universe for all ages. <laughs> Jonas Gavin training. Okay, so they're working on the Celeste, a lot of people say that a lot of people may think that training for a Miss Universe pageant is easy. Can you, can you, what is your response to that? It is really not easy. Like you have to be ready 100%, not just physically, like that's the piece. You have to be mentally ready, emotionally ready. And you know, more than taking care of my physique, I'm really trying to take care of my mental health. Because yeah. Once you go there, you really have to be confident in who you are, and you have to be authentic, you have to be real. So that's really the training, mentally, mentally you have to be ready. How do you train yourself mentally? I know the last time you told me you're reading a lot of books, but what else do you do to keep your outlook fresh, bright, positive, which is what you need to be in at the Miss Universe? I really like meditating. Every time I wake up in the morning, I take at least 10 to 15 minutes to just be by myself with my thoughts. I just spend a lot of kind words for myself. Which is very you do positive affirmations. Yeah, you really have to be positive in every single aspect because it is normal during a competition. You will always, you know, have the kind of face when you will doubt yourself somehow. But you have to be positive. You have to also be kind to yourself, and that's very important. What do you tell yourself if ever just a uh, a, a doubt thought comes to you? What are some of the things you tell yourself? I always tell to myself that first of all I have to be grateful because I am representing the people. Miss Universe Philippines 2022 is Pasay City, Celeste Cortesi. True. And um, whatever I'm going through, all the challenges and struggles, I am grateful where I am. I am at the right time, at the right, at the right space. Nice. And that's very important. And of course, I tell myself that I'm ready because I am training a lot. I'm yeah. really spending a lot of time and efforts into my training. You know how I really want to be when I am in this universe. Well, you look really great. I mean, your walk is, I mean, like really good. So you must have learned a lot from Jonas. What did, did. He, what did he teach you that really, it sort of just really enhanced your walk to make it look really elegant but yet effortless? Actually, he taught a lot of technicalities which I didn't know before. Mm -hmm. So our first pasarela training was a lot about the technique, mm -hmm. how to walk. But then at the end of the day, he also told me, you know, once you're in this universe, just enjoy the moment, be confident yeah. when you're walking, you're the queen. Yes. And you know, that's really how it is. You have to learn the technique, of course, but then once you're there, you have to be confident, whatever walk you're gonna show. Well, <laughs> thank you for thank you. working so hard <laughs> and we're looking forward to having the fifth crown. Yes. Right. <laughs> so let's take her test and you're looking like she's in great shape for the round pop portion, catwalk. It's Jonas, of course, teaching her. She looks like super elegant. Anong experience mo sa pagtuturo kay Celeste? Madali ba siyang turuan? May hirap kasi syempre you've trained so many girls na. Madali, but it took a while also. Kasi yung nalaman niya, like during the Miss Universe Philippines, medyo may pagka-stiff pa siya. We did kasi a lot of dancing, training, and then her nurse, maybe when I'm, at, um, I'm present, so medyo natakot siya. Mm -hmm. Kailangan ng gawin. So talagang binago mo yung walk niya? You parang refined it pa after the Miss Universe? Just refining siguro. Kasi yeah. siya that walk naman. What kind of a walk are you trying to achieve? What kind mm. of message or like... Uh, 
energy are you trying to show when Celeste walks down the Miss Universe stage? I think that Celeste can see a very beautiful face. Mm -hmm. So she doesn't have to exert so much effort now on stage. She just has to be confident on who she is and then yun lang, confidence lang. Yeah. So my question, are you content with what you with her her progress or development? Yes, very actually. Because like now we want to rush other things. More than the walking and the, the other trainings, the Q&A, we also have to fit the gowns now, oh, yeah. soon. And then we have to do the other things like her advocacy for Save the Children. So everything's like all in a month now. So join us with the new ownership of the Miss Universe. Do you think that helps the Philippines or what reaction did that have? Because there Filipino fans are saying, ay, paano yan? Di ang laging favor dyan yung Thailand. So, what is that? What, what impact does it have on the Filipino candidates? I think it's all the same. It, I think they will be fair. Because, like, what will happen to the brand if it's not fair? Mm -hmm. So, I, um, the only good thing about it now is that uh, there is a good focus on Asia. But so, I that's all, that you feel that's good? But I also don't want to, like, discount the fact that we have other good countries competing from like the Latin America, from Europe and from the Americas, from from North America. So I think um, I think everybody everyone should think that it's fair. Because yeah. like, but you don't feel like we're put at a disadvantage. No, no, not at all. Or I saw the post of um, Anne, the new owner of uh, Miss Universe. She said something like, this is a competition. Yes. You have to go there and win on your own. Right, you don't right. have to be representing one country just to win. Mm -hmm. But you have to really be there to um, to compete to with compete other girls. Yeah. yeah. So I think it won't change. See you in New Orleans. Thank you. Thank you.